I was also thinking a little bit about the other day about my little soliloquy, my little rant that I went on about money because I've been thinking a lot about money. I've been thinking a lot about money in the context of my life and my upbringing and my goals and my aspirations when I was younger. When I was younger, like I said previously in a previous pod, I was obsessed. I was obsessed with being cool. I was obsessed with having a cool job. I was obsessed with everything that to do with cool. But unfortunately, once you get involved in that industry, design, photography, fashion, art, all this sort of stuff, most of those jobs aren't very well paid unless you get to the top echelons. But when you get into it, the entry mid-level jobs aren't the most well paid. What they do have is good lifestyle benefits. You get to go to... Um, you get to go to galas, right? Uh, you get to go to symposiums. You get to go to exhibitions. You get to go to fashion weeks. Um, you get to travel the world. Like the previous job I had at this company called Massive, where I was like the, you know, I, I curated this like online learning course for streetwear designers. Um, I did it with some other guy called Darius as well. We co-produced the course. We wrote the whole syllabus around it. I booked all the major fucking guests and lecturers and shit. It was a pretty cool little course that we did. I probably traveled the most I've ever traveled in my life during that fucking job i was able to use a company card and go to paris new york la mexico city blah 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 all these different places berlin um all these fucking crazy places i was able to go to right all in the company docket and it was pretty fun pretty cool but the pay wasn't great i had all those kind of lifestyle things you could expend things you could take the company card you were always like even that i was like working remotely working from home before that became like popularized really you get a fucking macbook air you can hold under your arm you know you get to hang around you get to go to fucking we work and work out there you get to just be around town and look all cool and shit but the money ain't great and then the older you get, you start to realize, especially someone like myself, I really care and love the industry and the scene that I'm a part of, but I really love it to its core. I don't need to work in it to love it. I'm more than happy to be a very enthusiastic fan from the outside. I, I think I'm the same when it comes to techno and all that sort of shit. As much as I want to become, and I will become a professional DJ in some regard, I'm not really bothered about being a part of the scene or being you know being an insider and shit i'm more than happy just to be like a very enthusiastic fan who talks you know endlessly about bergheim and berlin and fold and all these amazing techno clubs and does techno tourism and fucking shouts from the rooftops about the importance of going to clubs and covering your phone camera and blah 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 i'm more than happy to do that but there does reach a point in your life where money becomes important because you know you need money to live and i was saying the other day that it's probably important for people especially for kids coming up, to focus on working a nine to five that just makes good money and then using that money to then fund your extracurricular skills or your extracurricular activities and your side projects that you do from like seven to 12 when you get back home. That's what you should be doing. But having thought about it a little bit more and having thought about and kind of meditated on this Anna Cashin tweet, which I screenshotted, Big up Anna Cashin from Red Scare. It also made me think again about it, where she says the following. Money won't make you happy. Actually, yeah, it will. The thing that I was thinking about this quote and why I think this is important is that as much as what I was saying was maybe true, I think the the what, what I should probably emphasize is that whatever job you have, it's not important that it makes you money and makes you a lot of money. What's important is that it allows you to do things that you enjoy. That's the thing that I was missing. Because I think that's way more of a fruitful life. Because I think we've all realized, I think post-pandemic, we've all realized that the game is rigged. During the pandemic, the richest people in the world made the most money. Whether it's a person that owns Amazon, whether it's a person that owns the social media platforms, whether it's a person that owns the fucking delivery apps, everybody that owns those type of companies and those startups and those things that are now utilities for everyday lives, those are the ones that became the richest. The people who are able to fucking, you know, put money behind like PPP, PPE stuff and stuff, and um, face masks and, you know, the people that were importing fucking hand sanitizers and all this malarkey, those are the ones who made the most money. So the rich became richer during a really dark time for all of us around the world, all of us regular quote-unquote people. I think what that made me realise, and should have made you realise, especially when we were in lockdown and we weren't allowed to go outside and we had to stand six feet apart from each other and we were only allowed to, only allowed to walk around parks and we had to fake carry coffee cups so we wouldn't get arrested, all this sort of nonsense happening. The one thing that we all hoped for when, when the world would reopen, we went to see our friends again. We went to see our friends again. We went to see our family. We went to do all the things that we took for granted and i think that's what you should do when you have a job and that's what you should do in life because the game is rigged 
it's unlikely any of us will become multi-millionaires in our lifetime because the game is rigged in such a way that only the rich can really get rich. Even stuff like housing, most of us are even priced out of the housing market. And for the most part, I think I think housing, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the one of the only industries or only sectors that regular working class and middle class people can actually attain wealth. You can actually go from being like a fairly poverty stricken person, you get yourself on a property ladder and now suddenly you're able to kind of, you know, flex your muscles a little bit and earn a little bit of money. Even though landlords have got like a bad name and bad reputation, that has been one of the only things that allow people from, you know, lower um, income levels to kind of rise up the ranks. But even that is out of reach now because of housing prices, because of interest prices or interest rates, because of the inability to get loans and whatever, it's all gone tits up. So there's way less options for you to become rich and famous nowadays. Unless you hit a lick and become successful on social media, that happens, fair enough. But for the most part, we all have to kind of make do what we have, whether it's working in a shop, being a bartender, working as a, del a delivery person, whatever. You have to make do what you have. So if that's the case, to make do with what you have, Make it work for how much you can make it work, which that means if you can, you know, squeeze a couple of um, working from home days, you do that. If that means you can have some favorable hours, you do that. And most importantly, most importantly, making sure whatever you get paid from that work, you invest it or you spend it on the things that you like to do. Instead of trying to save it to get rich or whatever, which is unlikely to happen, or if you want to be really focused, you could do that whole like um, fire thing where you save a particular amount of your money and then you invest it into a stock market in order for you to make a certain amount of money that allows you to retire early. That requires a lot of like discipline and financial acumen that a lot of us don't have. So I think the majority of people should just focus on taking their paycheck and spending it on things that you enjoy doing, whether that is buying another fucking game controller whether that is buying another pair of trainers, going on holiday somewhere, going on the fucking piss on the weekend, whatever it is, you got to do it because the game is rigged, unfortunately. And that's unlikely you're going to be rich. So while you got the money, or while you got the ability to earn money and to make whatever money you're making, spend it doing the things that you love. That's the most important thing, as opposed to trying to look for jobs that pay the most. Because you look for jobs that pay the most, you're being a fucking never ending hamster wheel. And also, sometimes it's not about how much money you make, it's about what you do with that money. I remember there was, a spent, there was a time in my life where I was working like that. I think that might have been the first time I was like, I went from the shop floor to an office job. I just left the shop floor and went to the first office job. And I think I was making like 13 grand a year. And back then, I think after taxes and shit, I must have got like 902 pounds in my account. And of that 902 pound, I was paying like 600 pound in rent. And I still had to pay travel card fees. So it's like, by the end of the month, I was left with like 100 pounds. That, that's it. But legit, I can remember back then, I was also going on holiday a lot. I was going to festivals, I was going to gigs, I was going out, I was buying drugas, I was drinking all the booze. So I, f I figured it out somehow. So I was able to have my fun, even though I was making less. And now I'm making way more, but I'm not able to do all those things, you know? It's because my I'm chasing some like phantom thing that isn't existing. But for the here and now, you got to take whatever you make and invest in the things that you love to do. Whether it's legitimately going out to grocery shopping sometimes and buying all the bougie stuff that you usually don't buy. That's where, that, in my opinion, is way more important and it's way better way to kind of, you know, live a life worth living than chasing some crazy salary thing that probably is going to happen. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nada.